Oh, that's fish. I wanted to introduce you guys to somebody else. This is ridiculous, dude. Bottom. Oh. This fishing mission has turned into a recovery. Oh, keep that hook in. <laughs> Boom. There you are, baby. <laughs> hey. What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another video. Oi, we're going on a fishing mission. That sun has just popped up over there. We have got a massive, massive day ahead of us today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go put the FDYS jigs to the test. These bad boys here right now are back in stock. I've just got my hands on these jigs. It's been about a month and a half without having these jigs in my possession. And it makes fishing not a good time when you don't have these in your hands. So I've got the FDYS jigs. We're gonna go give these things a flogging today. We've got about a two hour drive that way, straight out to sea, or a little bit southwest from where I am right now. Straight out there, they're gonna be fishing, a psycho fishing spot. It's a big drive. I'm out here solo, you and me. We're going fishing, doggies. Let's get it done. We've got a big drive ahead of us. Hey! The uh, good old froth levels are pretty bloody high right now. It's been, a, it's been a bloody minute since we've been out for a fish. Look at this. Doesn't get any better than this, eh? Solo, we're punching that way. Long drive, should be worth it, but always get big fish where we're going this morning. Look at this. All right, a little bit of zinc on the old noggin. We have arrived in the land of the slob. I'm just gonna drift past one spot right now. If there's a little bit of bait in the bottom, we'll drop a jig. It's usually just drop a jig, bang, drop a jig, jig. These, these, these three spots that we're gonna be fishing today, incredibly bloody good. First one, we're just gonna come up on it in about 30 seconds. So let's see if we can get a slob on the deck. A little bit of wind, it's probably blowing about 10 to 12 knots from the southwest. So we're gonna be drifting at like two to three knots. It's a little bit too quick, but that's all right. What we're doing is dropping Brand spanking new 100 gram FDYS jig. Let's see how this thing goes. 100 gram. We're fishing 50 meters of water here, so it shouldn't be too bad. We've got the little Maxell Rage 20C. A lot of people ask about this reel. That's what it is. It's a hybrid Maxell 20C. Sick little reel. PE2 setup, so it's very, very light gear. Let's see if we can get a fish off the bottom. All right, big dog. Good luck down there. We're just coming over the mark now. So what I'll do is put that engine in reverse, drop that jig straight down. Should be on the money right where we are right now. 50 meters of water. All right, jig is on the bottom, let's go. Oh, that's fish straight away, bruh. That's fish on the... <laughs> Not even shitting ya. This is first jig to hit the bottom. Oh, f No way! Fishing rod gone, bro. Are you joking? Like, look at this. That's the sounder. These are the fish that we just hit, that I just dropped the, dropped the jig on. I don't know what just happened then. Fishing rod gone, bruh. <laughs> I've never done that in my entire life. Fishing rod over the deck. That's my favorite rod. What happened just then, bruh? Whoa. I have never done that in my entire life of fishing. I've been fishing since I was like a two year old kid. Just then, I don't know what happened. That fish just grabbed that rod and literally just sucked it out of my hands. Like I couldn't. That happened so quick, I'm gonna have to look back at the footage and see what happened then. I don't know if I had rod tip wrap or what happened, but that rod just went gone, out of my hands. Hectic. There goes a couple of hundred bucks straight in the drink. All right, lucky I've got a couple more rods out here. That is my favorite little jigging setup. It is now on the bottom of the ocean. So what I'm gonna to try to do is I'll try to back over my tracks, drop a jig and see if we can pick up that line and get the rod back. That is the, that's what we're doing today now. This fishing mission has turned into a recovery fishing rod mission. Let's see if I can get that rod back. There is a possibility we'll get that rod. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna try to fish that exact same line that we just fished just then. That fish took that jig at exactly on the bottom and I let that rod go to the top. So we've got 50 meters of line floating around in the ocean somewhere right now. 
aim of the game is to drop another jig down and see if I can somehow get tangled up in that line and bring the rod up. Imagine if we brought the rod up and a fish up at the same time. What I'm hoping happened is that fish has just gone in, grabbed a jig and it's gone under a rock and there's a big loop of line just sitting in the ocean right now. It's P2 gear, so it's a pretty light line. Shouldn't sink too quick. We just got to get back on that mark. I've, I marked where those fish were, so we've got a pretty good idea where that rod is. As long as that fish just didn't piss for the horizon, we've got a little bit of a chance of getting that rod back. That's that's so psycho, dude. I just dropped a bloody epic jigging setup straight in the water. I'm glad you guys were here to see that. All right, let's go. We're on the mark. I'm gonna drop another jig down. I've got a spin set up here. We're gonna be drifting exactly along that same line. Okay, we're here now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see if this works or not. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now I've got a little spin setup. I don't, I do not like jigging with spin setups, but this is what we're gonna do now. 100 gram FDYS jig going down. The back corner of the boat over here, I've got a big dirty overhead spinning rod, like a heavy setup with a big sinker and a hook. And that's just dragging along the bottom in hopes that we um, pick up that fishing line. So I'm just gonna start drifting along this same line we did and hopefully pick up that line. In the meantime, also picking up a slob for a bit of a feed later on, but I don't know. Our odds of picking up that line are pretty slim, I reckon. Spending the day here fishing, we might pick it up. Let's see how we go. Anyway, we've got a jig going down. All right, here we go. That's a little bit of a fish. Just as that jig was fluttering down to the bottom, it just picked it up and smoked it. Oh, imagine if this fish has another jig in its mouth and it's the other fishing rod. That'd be nice. Well, we've got a fish on. Really, it's the first fish of the day. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a good way to start the day. This is... Now this is a good way to start a day. This is definitely a keeper. We're, we're gonna be eating good. Come here, big rig. This is a fish we come out for. Now there is a beautiful West Australian Jew fish. Have a go at that. 100 gram FDYS jig hanging out of his gob. That, this fish actually ate that jig on the drop. So that jig was just fluttering to the bottom and he just destroyed it. Good fish, he's gonna be a good eater. He's a lovely fish, man. Look at that. Look at the size of the gob on him. He's a big dog. Unfortunately, he does not have a second jig and another fishing rod hanging out of his mouth, but look, he's a good fish. He's gone straight on ice. First fish of the day. He's a good eater. Mwah. Look at the size of your big dog. Good fish, good fish. Righto. That is one fish on the deck in the esky on ice. That means we're eating very, very bloody good. He's a good fish, he's not a monster. You get some absolute slobs out here, but I've just kept that one. So now we've got guaranteed food. Anything from here on out is gonna be catch and release until, unless we get an actual slob. But I'm still drifting on that same line we, where we just lost, lost that fishing rod. So the chances of, fish, of catching that rod again, they're up there, but the chances of also catching an absolute slob are also there as well. So we're just about to do that same drift now. Let's drop a jig down and uh, see how we go. All right, jig on the bottom. Oh, that's fish. As soon as it hit the bottom, bro, that's another fish. As soon as that thing hit the bottom, that fish just ate it up. It's not as big as that last one, but does it have a fishing rod connected to it? That's the question. There he is, beautiful little snapper. Have a look at the bump on that thing's head already. This fish would this fish would go about 55 centimeters long and he's already got that big bump going on his head there. He's a good looking fish. This one's gonna go back. He'd be a good eater, but look if we're out here to chase slobs, not little fish like this. But this is a beautiful one, man. He's got some crazy colours in him. Let's get him back in the drink. Look at the colours in it, man. What a beautiful fish, eh? With that big bump on his noggin. Alright mate, you're gonna go back, he'll go back fresh. Whoosh! Off he goes. See that big dog? Boom! There you are, baby! <laughs> oh, as soon as that jig, 
When that jig flutters down, the line stops, it goes still, and you know you've got to fish on. As soon as that jig, it just on the flutter, boom. It's chewed every time, man. There you are, big rig. I'm not going to rip this fish up too fast. It feels like another snapper. Probably won't keep it. That there is another beautiful one. Look at that jig. Pinned in perfectly in the corner of the jaw. A little bit bigger than the last one. We're going to let this one go as well. But it is a beautiful fish, man. Check that thing out. Good. They're a real good fighting fish at this size, eh? Big head shakes. There's no shortage of them. I think this is the fourth or the fifth, fifth drift we've done over that spot. And um, we're getting a fish just about every drop. So he's a beautiful one. We're going to put him back. 100 gram jig doing the damage once again. Let's get this thing back in the water. Sick colors, but look at that. The big blue. Man, that's such a good fish. Whoosh! Off he goes like a bullet. All right, we've got a couple of fish on the sounder. They're showing that they're sitting in high water. So I'm just going to drop that jig down just about there. Oh, look at the line. See the line stopped moving? Ready, watch this. That's fish. Oh, got ya. <laughs> that just take it on the drop again. These fish are coming right up off the bottom. What's this? A little snapper? It's fighting like a snapper. They're feeding very, very high in the water column right now, which is a good sign. Just need to find the big dogs. This feels like a little snapper. There's another one. Beautiful little colours, he's tiny. He's going straight back. They're feeding real high up in the water column right now. So this is exactly what we need. Let's go. Hopefully we can get a big dog. All right, you know what time it is. It is party pie time. We've got a box of party pies. We're down one fishing rod. We've got a couple of fish on the deck. Let's load this little oven up with party pies and uh, have a feed a little bit later on. These things don't take too long to get hot in this oven. I'm starving right now. I'm going to eat my sorrows away seeing that I've just lost my favourite ever fishing rod. We're going to get it back. I'm just going to keep fishing until we get that fishing rod back. But uh, these party pies, they're going to be pretty bloody good. I'll give you the hot tip. Ain't nothing like party pies out on the boat, doggies. Here we go. It's on the bottom. Oh. <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude. Just chuck party pies. There we go. That's not not a monster. Just chucked a couple of party pies in the oven, and uh, we've just got this bubbling ball of snapper underneath the boat right now. Jig doesn't even last a second. Like I'm talking, drop the jig, fish on. This might not be a snapper. Maybe. They're coming up real high feeding, which is good. I'm gonna let this one go. We brought him up real slow, so he should release pretty good. Don't wanna to put too much hurt on these little fish or they'll get barotrauma and they'll never go back. But he's a good one, he's going back. If he doesn't go back strong, we'll keep him. These no longer have a size limit, but uh, if he goes back, he's going back. See ya, champ. What are you gonna do, what are you gonna do? Oh, he's going strong, bruh. Look at that, he went straight down. Good, very good. Just pulled hooks on a very good fish. There it is again, oh no. Go eat it again, you big dog. I've just pulled hooks twice on a fish. It's taking it very aggressively on the drop every time. Oh, there it is there. Just keep that hook in. Oh, here we go. Got him. He come twice. He came in once, he came in twice, and then he hit it the third time. We got him on here. That was good, man. Look at the bottom. Bottom's loaded with fish right now. That thing had a few cracks at it, eh? Good fish. Beautiful. Little pan-sized dewy. Well, it's not really a pan-sized jewel. He is not a bad fish at all, that thing. Look at that. He's a good fish, man. Beautiful one again. That jig has just plugged him in the corner of her mouth. Look at that. Double hooks. Plugged him in the corner. These little 100 gram FDYS jigs are that good. It's, they're incredible, man. I'm getting fish nearly every drop. 
Look at that, he's a beautiful fish, man. He's a real good one. He's gonna go on the esky as well. He's a good eater. Good fish, good fish. It's literally right now, it's literally drop, drop, bang, drop, drop, bang. There is another beautiful snapper. Jig again, perfectly in the corner of its lip. There's another one. I reckon I'm getting sick of catching fish out here, right? We've got two real good eaters. This one's obviously gonna go back. I think we might go have a troll or something before that wind comes in. This little spot that we're fishing right now is absolute dynamite, but we'll get these hooks out, we'll get this fish back. There he is, another beautiful one. See you later, champ. Bye! <laughs> Look at this! Look at the size of this jewfish! It is tiny, dude! Look at the size of the jig. Look at the size of the fish. He is hungry, man. Look at that hook's perfectly set in his lip there. I'm gonna get this guy back as soon as possible. I bring, I'm bringing these fish up very, very slowly. So he's gonna get back. He's gonna go back. No worries at all. Look at him. He's got a lot of life in him. He is a beautiful little fish, but all right, mate. See you later. I'm just bringing him up real slow. Oh, look at him. He's gone, bar. They got power. See you, mate. All right. The first, the first fish that hit that jig was a big one, man. So I'm gonna, just gonna do one more drift. See if we can get that big dog that hit that jig. Hopefully. Look at that thing. That is a beautiful snapper. That one. He smashed that jig again in the corner of the lip, beautifully hooked. He's a good fish. He's going back, but we got two keepers. That's it for the jigging mission. I'm done. I'm gonna go see if I can pick something up on the troll now, but here's a beautiful fish. See if we can just pop that jig out. Stay there, buddy. There we go, look at that. Hook pulls straight out. There it is. Big, beautiful pink snapper. Look at that thing. Here's a slob, but he's going back. All right, bud, take care. Oosh! Swim, 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 swim! There he goes, man, look at that. What a beautiful fish. Colors are like fluoro blue as he swims away. That's so sick. And just like that, the jigging mission is over. I no longer need any more fish. We've got one big dirty slob of a jewfish here. Another beautiful one over here. We caught a lot of fish this morning, some off, some off camera, some on camera. We lost the bloody fishing rod, but that is it for the jigging mission. We've got two good eaters here. These things, we're gonna cook these things up. They're gonna be bloody beautiful. This little 100 gram jig did the damage this morning. If you guys wanna get yourselves these jigs, make sure you jump over to fieldayshop.com. As we speak right now, they are live and they're gonna sell out quick. I think the last, the last batch sold out in a couple of days. So if you guys wanna get your hands on a couple of these jigs, very, very high quality, handmade from start to finish. They're not like any other jig you'll ever find on the market purely because they are handmade start to finish. They're not machine made. You can't get them anywhere else. And these hooks, are some of the best hooks going. I've had so many good reviews from these lures. I'm stoked, I'm very proud of them. So if you guys wanna get them, fieldayshop.com is the only place you'll ever find jigs of this quality. Righto, let's go punch in, drag a couple of lures, see if we can get a mackerel, a tuna, or something like that. Let's go, ha! Just a big old whale right in the middle of my trolling line. Big dog. Hey, buddy! Imagine getting a buddy lure hooked onto the back of that thing. See you later. All right, we're on the troll. Lots of whales around right now. Big dog over there. Hopefully one of these rods starts screaming in a minute. Here we go, my doggies. Welcome to the goddamn kitchen. We're about to cook one hell of a feed. Look, we're out, we're out here in the, the field day homestead, I suppose we're gonna call it now. I've got some very, very bloody exciting news to show you guys. Not only do we have two big juicy dew fish to cook up and fill it and clean, but I've also got some pretty bloody exciting news for you. So uh, hang around because this is gonna be, this is gonna be a fun afternoon. 
what we're going to do with these fish this afternoon is we're just going to cook them like a fully blown OG, really, really good bloody way. What we need to do first, obviously, is get a big bed of coals cranking. So that's what we're doing here. We're getting a big bed of coals going on here. Hey! What do you reckon, Bowie? You going to have a feed, mate? Hey, come here. You guys remember Bowie the goat? Look at the size of him now. He's an absolute giant. You're growing up quick, aren't you, bud? And I wanted to introduce you guys to somebody else who's joined the Field Day family. So we don't only now have Bowie, we've also got Bob. Field Day family, I would like to introduce you to your cousin, or what are we gonna call him? But this little goat here, this is our second goat. We've been saying for a long time that Bowie needs a friend. Goats are herd animals, they need little buddies to hang around with. So. We were lucky enough to get another goat exactly the same age as Bowie. So this here is Bob, Bob the goat. So now we've got Billy and we've got, I mean, now we've got Bowie and we've got Bob. This little guy is an absolute champion. Look at this, Bowie, come here. Look, there you go, mate. Look at him. Two of the best little goats. All right, what we're gonna do down there is we're gonna get a big bed of coals ready. But while that bed of coals is going, I want to show you guys what we've been doing for these goats. Come for a walk down the front of the block. Have a look at this. This is where the goats are going to call home. So tomorrow what we're doing is we're going to build a big ass fence or a big ass pen for these goats. So what we've done is we've got a bobcat driver to come in. He's ripped out a section here. He's ripped out a big ass section here. What we're going to put up or what I'm going to put up is a big fence. So we're going to run a fence down here, a fence all the way up there and then um, coming down the side. So this is going to be the goats, the goats yard. They've got all of this natural bush just to live a good life in. I'm going to build like a big house for them, double storied house so they can stand on top. It's going to be so dope. There's a little bit of a target that I shoot out in the afternoons. And that's the other side of the fence. It runs the whole way down there. So they've got this big, big bit of land where they can run around, have a bit of fun in. Let's go find them. They're the best little animals ever, dude. Bobby! How you going, bud? We're so lucky to get another goat. Don't go too close to that fire, mate. So this is a little male, and he's exactly the same size as Bowie is. So he's about six weeks old right now, six to seven weeks old. He's a little boy, so we've got two little boys together. Look at them, little troublemakers. And they eat absolutely everything, don't you, Bowie? Hey, bud. Little gobbly guts. Alright, while we get a big dirty bed of coals happening down there, I'm going to take you guys on a chicken coop tour because I forever get questions about the goats and the chickens. So we may as well, before we cook this fish up, have a look at the chooks now. They are going as strong as strong can be. Ladies! Uh, stay in there, darling. Here's the chickens. Look at them. You're champions, aren't you? Go and give it a peck. An Australorp. Look at them, they're all loving it in here. Probably the best thing we've done is bring, put this automatic water feeder in. So this is like a 30 litre container with these self-filling little cups. So you never have to feed them. I've made this self-feeding feeder, I suppose you'd call it. So you just fill it up with grain and they just come and have a peck whenever they want. Hey? They're loving it in here. They're always jumping up on here, jumping up on Bowie's little toy. Good on you gals, we're going to cook a hell feed now. Oh Bob! Alright, here we go, this is what's on the menu. That is one of the dew fish that we caught yesterday. Beautiful fish, he's a big dog. This is way too much food for me and Mac 10 to eat. So we're not going to be cooking up this one, but we got this beautiful little one as well yesterday. I only kept the two fish. That was a hell of a session we did yesterday. We got a lot of good fish. But this is the one we're going to cook up. We're going to cook it straight up raw on those coals down there. It is going to be that good. Very simple but effective way of cooking fish. But this thing here is a beautiful little eater for two. Probably feed four people to be honest. But uh, me and Mac Tan are going to devour this thing around the fire. That's what's happening out here. All right, what we've done is we've taken the guts out of the fish. There's nothing left in there, so it's an empty fish. Here's the fish's stomach. 
and it's all it's always pretty interesting to see what a fish has got inside its stomach but this one has absolutely nothing inside it so that's probably why it was so vicious when it hit the jig this is that fish that come in three times i think it was like hit it once hit it twice and then the third one it just smashed it so there's its guts it's got absolutely nothing inside it that's probably why it was so hungry but this is what we're going to do we're just going to lob the fish on the fire like this scales on fully fish intact like this it's going to go straight on top of a tray on top of the coals and then um, i'm just going to let it slowly cook over time and it's going to should you should be able to peel that layer of um, scales off and this is going to be white juicy meat lemon tree over the back we might pluck a lemon off that go out the back of our little veggie patch see if we can pull some veggies together and we're going to make one hell of a feed living off the land doggies that's what it's all about sustainable eating man now you can't beat this it doesn't get as fresh as this right here especially when you got your goats your missus behind the camera your chickens in a chicken coop life eh? all right let's smash this thing on the coals now every time i bring a fish home or i've got fish guts like this it always goes under this lemon tree this lemon tree has got that much stuff under it look at this there are that many fish heads and tuna heads and dewy heads and mackerel heads and look at this ready that's been dug up by some animal but that's like a old tuna bone there's its petrol fin there's its other fin so there's a couple of the fish that we chuck under that tree but look at the lemons man the lemons are pumping all of these little flowers are going to be lemons soon so whatever those fish heads are oh man it's going to be loaded whatever those fish heads are doing under there they're doing the job eh Woo! that is hot already okay what we've got here is a little bit of a steel tray it's boiling hot it's only been on there for 30 seconds but there's a steel tray which is just lifting the fish off the fire so we're going to grab this delicious little west australian dew fish beautiful size eaten one it's as simple as this we're just going to whack it straight on there like that now i'm keeping it away there the majority of the coals, coals are at the back there we're just keeping the fish away and if i have to i can just slide these bricks back and forth using that heat to our advantage but that's it mate we're just gonna let that thing sit there sun's setting in about 40 minutes it's all good i'm gonna show you guys this is probably a little bit of a farm tour i'm gonna call it a farm tour right it's not really a farm but this has turned into a little bit of a farm tour i'll show you guys what i usually do most afternoons if i'm not out filming and if i'm not surfing there's something that i do most afternoons and i'll uh, i'll take you up there and i'll show you now ah all right so this is what I do most afternoons. When I'm not out filming videos for you guys, and I'm not out there surfing with mates, I sit here on the balcony with a cold can of export. I've got my little 22 here. I've got a target at 50 meters. I've got a target at 100 meters. So usually, most afternoons we just sit here and we just have a little bit of fun. Mac 10 is actually a crack shot. She can like hit the target most times. So we just sit here and we plug these targets Oh, that was an absolute crack shot. This is what we do most afternoons. We're little hillbillies now. <laughs> but nah, this is just a little bit of a uh, behind the scenes video, I suppose. Now, if you guys want to get those jigs, they're available right now on the online shop. I just dropped them on Instagram. This here is the Instagram handle if you guys want to follow me on there and you're not. The jigs are flying out of the door. Top quality, you're not going to get any better quality than that. So if you guys want to check them out, fieldayshop.com. There is a link in the description. All right, we're going to sit back, have a drink. Shoot at these targets and in the next hour or 40 minutes that fish should be ready to go. Listen to that goat in the background. We've turned into fully blown farmers, eh? Cheers, doggies. Bloody love yous. Oh, that was a... This thing is dialed in, dude. That was so perfect. Here. It's your shot. Who's going to win the fight? Bowie or Bob? Come on, boys. 10 bucks on Bowie. You're the OG. 10 bucks on Bowie. What do you got on Bob's mucky? 10 bucks because he's our two. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Bowie, get him. <laughs> Bob's bigger. Yeah, but Bowie's got bigger horns. <laughs> oh, two boys, eh? Go, get him, get him. Oh. 
Here's another thing if you're ever wanting to get a goat, as soon as you get out of a chair, the goat will always jump in your chair. No matter what we do, if, as soon as you get out of a chair, Bowie is the first one to jump in your chair. Off he goes. So, where's the other one? Hey, Bob. Bobby boy. Bob's just an absolute gob gobbly guts. Hey. Hey, Bob. You're having a good feed, aren't you? Look how fatty he is already. Little fatty. Still getting used to us, Bob. Aren't you, mate? Oh, that's going to be done. What you can do with a fish, if you don't want to flip the fish over or flip the fish back, because I've gutted this fish, you can just open up the guts here and you can actually see if the back side of that fish on the bottom fillet's cooked. So you can see that white meat right there. It's bloody beautiful. That fish is going to be done. What we'll do is we'll run over to that lemon tree and we're going to get a lemon, fresh lemon, off the tree for that fish. All right, Mac 10, pick your lemon. I think this one's ready, hey? Which one do you want? This one? Yeah, that's pretty bloody lemon-like. All right, fresh lemon from our tree is gonna go on the fish. We're gonna eat that fish now. I'm just gonna flip it up and eat half of that fish because uh, that sun ain't messing around. It's actually just gone over, just gone over the ocean, so uh, let's have a feed. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get this big-ass star picket, and I'm very carefully just gonna lift this fish oh, off of there like that. Transfer it over to here without putting that bloody hot shit on the esky there. I'm gonna flip him up. Oh, look at this. You're joking. That is cooked to perfection. Look at that white meat. Ah. Look at all that food, man. The other half of the fish actually isn't cooked. This is just for video purposes only because I want you guys to eat this fish with us. So what we got, lemon from the tree. We're gonna dutz that thing in half. We're gonna give this Jew fish a generous drinking of lemon. And that is it, my doggies, it is that simple. A Little bit of lemon, straight from the garden. Big chunk, look at that. It doesn't come any whiter or beautiful than that. Oh my goodness. Yesterday this thing was swimming around, caught on those amazing jigs. Now we're eating it in the backyard on sunset. How bloody good is this? Yeah, Mac 10, wrap your lips around a bit of that. It's incredible, man. All right, buddy, are you gonna say goodbye to the field day fam? You wanna say goodbye to everyone? Say see ya. See you later, doggies. All right, Bowie, get out of here, bud. Have some fun. All right, my doggies, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video on the next adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a random farm tour. If you like these kind of videos, let me know because I might drop these things like more often, but um, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video on the next adventure. Don't forget fieldayshop.com if you want to check out them jigs, all these hoodies, all these hats. Much love. See you in the next one. Ow!